So what I want to cover in this video is a basic outline of the structure of a, a SharePoint arrangement. So what we've got here is a diagrammatic view of what SharePoint structure is all about. So at the very top level, we have something called a site collection. Now the site collection encompasses as many sites as possible. Inside the site, you would have uh, applications. So these applications could be a document library, a calendar, a group of contacts. Inside those apps are items. So inside a document library, for example, would be a set of documents. Inside a calendar would be appointments. Now, a site can also contain a number of subsites within it as well. So this basically allows you to create a structure very reminiscent of a traditional file share arrangement. Now, once we create a subsite, we'll find that a subsite can again contain things like document libraries, calendars, contacts and items within that. But to give us a better idea, let's go out and just have a look at where we get access to the site collections in Office 365. Now the location that we get access to the site collections in Office 365, we need to log in as a global administrator. So you'll need administration rights to do this. Now when we go to the admin area, we go down and we select to go to SharePoint in the bottom left hand corner here. Now what that'll do is that will take us to the SharePoint Admin Center and when that displays we'll see a list of all our uh, SharePoint site collections. Now as we can see coming up now you'll see that we have a list of all our uh, internal site collections here. So these are uh, all the ones that we have created and we can use. So each one of these basically is an independent entity which then has a number of sites and subsites below. So again, if we just drill into it quickly, we'll see that we get the site collection properties, has size, resources, it has an administrator and has its own unique URL. If we go to a, another one here, for example, we click on that, you'll see that uh, as an independent uh, site collection, it has a different URL, potentially a different company administrator, as well as a different set of resources. So that's basically how we get access to the site collection area. And we can go in here, for example, and create a new private site collection if we want. We can delete any ones that are here. We can, for example, go in here and change their sharing, uh, get more storage and configure them. So uh, again, the way that we get to that is we go to the admin area in Office 365 as a global administrator. Once we're there, we scroll down to the bottom left and we select SharePoint. That takes us to the SharePoint admin area where we can now start working on our site collections. Now the next level down from our site collection is our individual sites. Now when we create a site collection we need to create a top level site. So the top level site is the root of our structure. Below that we then start building uh, our tree structure out with subsites. Now you don't have to create subsites, you don't have to create multiple apps, but certainly if you want to do that you can create the structure that you want, but best practice is always to keep it as flat as possible. So with that in mind, let's take a quick look at a SharePoint site. Okay, so the way that we get to our sites in uh, SharePoint Online is we go into our Office 365, we go into our application launcher, and then you'll see that there is an option here called Sites. So we need to select that. That will then take us basically to a list of a site collections, so a number of different locations that we have previously created. And again, the site collection is the top of the structure. So you'll see here I've got a number of different site collections, but let me drill into, for example, this demonstration one. Now, what we'll see here, this is the top level site of uh, this site collection here called Demo. Now, into that, you can see that what I have placed is uh, a number of items here. So I have a document library, I have picture library, I have calendar, I have contacts. And what I have as well below that is potentially a number of subsites. So all these are completely in uh, areas below that. So if I go into, for example, project, you'll see that uh, the information in there looks a little bit different, uh, but it is still a sub area of the 
demo organization. Now, if we go up and go back to demo and have a look, you'll see that the URL is um, slash sites slash demo. Now, if I go, for example, back into project, you'll see that the URL changes to sites demo slash project. So you will see that that area is below uh, the demo area. So again, the demo is the uh, this area here is my top level site in my site collection. Into that, I have a number of apps, calendars, contacts, picture libraries, and also in there, I have a number of subsites that continue on with the structure below. Now, inside our site, as you can see, we can have a number of apps, which are document libraries, calendars, contacts. Inside those apps are individual items, uh, such as calendars, contacts, uh, files, all that. And again, as I've noted, we also can create subsites, which continues on with the structure below. Now, the way that we can see what apps uh, are in our uh, team site here, inside our site, we can scroll down here until we find the option on the quick launch menu for site contents. So if I select that, what that will show me is all the apps that I have inside this uh, site. So you'll see that I have calendar, contacts, a check-in library, documents and whatnot. And if I scroll right down the bottom here, you'll see that I also have a number of subsites that I have highlighted as well. Now, if I drill into any one of those apps, you'll see that, for example, in the document area, I have a number of individual files, individual items in there. Again, what I can do is if I select one of these items here, I can then open that, uh, edit that, update that, and manipulate that as a single item within um, that document library. So at the very base of all the structure is certainly the items and those items can be, I said documents, if I go into uh, a calendar for example, you'll see that potentially I have the ability to go in here and create a new appointment. So I can go in here and go add and I can create a new appointment that will then uh, appear in the calendar for me. Okay, so if I save that we should now see that appear as an item listed in there. All right, so again, in uh, essence, what we have at the very top level of Office 365 in the admin area, which we need access to as a global administrator, we're able to go in and create an individual site collection. So again, the way that we do that is we go to the admin area in Office 365, and then we select a SharePoint in the bottom left-hand corner here. Okay, so we go into SharePoint. That takes us to the SharePoint Admin Center where we can look and view and edit our site collections, make any changes that we want. We can also use the new, new button here to go and create additional site collections if we want. So each one of these is an individual site collection. And once we have our site collection that has a unique URL, uh, unique administrators, we can then drill in to those individual site collections. At the top of the site collection will be a single top level site, which you see here. And then below that, we can then start creating a number of subsites if we desire to create a deeper structure. And then also inside our sites, we can then start adding all our apps. And then inside the apps, we can create those individual items. So in summary, our SharePoint arrangement looks basically like this diagram. We have our site collection at the top, which encompasses a top level site. Our top level site can then contain a number of apps, uh, which are document libraries, calendars, contacts, and then that can also encompass additional subsites. Now those subsites can then have further subsites with their own apps, with their own individual items. So in essence, we can create a collaboration structure as deep as we want it, but remember it's all based around a site collection and a site.